What's up Mod Squad, MOB back with another Division 2 video. So before I start today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to all my new and OG subscribers for all the support since I've been back. Since I've been back, we have gained nearly 400 subs, which is incredible. I really do appreciate your support and I hope it continues. We're so close to hitting 11k, which I'd love to hit before Warlords of New York drops on the 3rd of March. So continue spamming that like button, dropping comments and subscribing if you're new for lots more Division 2 content. Now that said, let's get into the topic of today's video which is the top 5 best assault rifles in the Division 2. This list isn't just restricted to high ends, this top 5 will include high ends, exotic and named weapons. Remember this is just my opinion based on my experience with the guns throughout my playtime in the Division 2 for both PvE and PvP. You are more than welcome to leave your opinions in the comment sections below or drop me your top 5. With that said, let's start off with a fan favourite and what I've put at the top of the list, the exotic Eagle Bearer. Even though it did receive a base damage nerf, it is still considered one of the best ARs in the game, if not the best. Its combination of base damage, fire rate and having one of the strongest talents in the game for both PvE and PvP makes it a majorly sought after weapon. Now it hasn't got the fastest fire rate in this list but it's highly rated because of the amount of damage it puts out especially at medium to long range. This weapon can only be acquired by doing a raid so it's a very difficult weapon to get but it's worth it when you get it. Up next we have the police M4 as our second in the list. The M4 was a treasured gun in division 1 but didn't have the greatest start when it came to Division 2's launch. But since weapon rebalancing, the Police M4 has become a more than competitive weapon when it comes to going up against the best weapons in the game. The gun is a laser beam with very little recoil, easy to use for long range engagements and on top of that it has an impressive 935 rounds per minute if rolled with Allegro. Now I could have put the name version of the M4 in this list, the Pyromaniac, but I found its perfect talent was very situational. Again guys, this list is just my opinion and if you don't agree, feel free to drop your top 5 in the comment section below. You are able to get the Police M4 as an open world drop and you can also get the blueprint allowing you to craft it at your crafting bench. On to our third of the top 5, we have the new named Honey Badger, the Savage Wolverine. Now this was put above our next gun because both are extremely close stat wise, but this gun has slightly faster RPM and is pretty equal in damage. Apart from its perfect talent which will give you plus 50% weapon damage for 10 seconds if you get a kill within 10 meters. This gun was recently introduced into the game in episode 3 and quickly became a lot of people's favourite weapon. You get this gun by doing the field research for the firewall, completing this will give you the blueprint for the weapon which you can then go and craft at your crafting bench. Moving on to our fourth of the list, that being the high end P416. Now this was my favourite gun when a Division 2 launched and it was for many updates after that. And even though it took a slight range nerf, it's still an amazing AR. Most players rolling talents on the gun such as Optimus, Ranger, Allegro, Extra and so on. This is a very strong AR with a good combination of base damage and RPM that can reach up to 825 rounds per minute or higher depending on talents you roll on the gun. It also does amazing damage at range just like its big brother, the Eagle Bearer. You can get this weapon as an open world drop and just like the police M4 can craft it once you obtain the blueprint. Now onto our final assault rifle on the list, the FAMAS 2010. This gun only within the last two patches became a top contender. It previously didn't have a mag attachment and lacked in base damage but with rebalancing the FAMAS was given its mag back and had its base damage brought up. This AR is the one you want to use when you want to get up close and personal. With a standard RPM of 900, this gun shreds. If you choose to roll a Legger on this gun, that takes it up to 990 RPM. The gun performs pretty well at medium range and has very manageable recoil for a gun that has such fast fire rate. Now just like the Police M4 and P416, you could obtain this gun by unlocking the blueprint and crafting it. So guys, this was my top 5 assault rifles in a Division 2. Let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Don't forget to smash that like button to help support the channel. Subscribe if you're new for lots more Division 2 content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out Mob Squad.
still to turn this around. They'll be pulled out. 